Welcome back to San Antonio Living. Diane Gottsman is our etiquette expert. And this morning we are talking about sickness etiquette, flu etiquette, because I'm sure someone in your office is sick right now and they're at work and oh, you hate that. Oh. Because we all are so, we're such hard workers. But that is one of our little rules, and we'll get to that. I mean, this is something, everyone's dying of the flu right now and spreading it all over the place. 80% of employees come to work sick. I know. Yes. Yeah. Is anybody sick here? Yes. See? Monica's sick. <laughs> And Monica. she's upstairs right now working. But you need her. See, that's I know. just it. <laughs> it's true. We feel guilty if we don't come to work. Right. Because we think that the whole office is going to blow up without us. It's, and it may. And it, it may. Might. Yes. It might just blow up. Um, okay, you know why else we come to work? Why? Because of sick days. We don't have sick days or we don't want to lose vacation time. True. Maybe we need to do like a little culture shift here and pretend that this is Europe and have much more sick days. Okay. Yeah. Well, you start the, you start it. Okay, I'm on it. Start the Campaign. So okay. here's the deal. We've got some etiquette for you to follow when you're sick because a lot of people don't know. And I was talking to Diane earlier. My eight-year-old came home from school the other day and she was like, Mom, so-and-so was coughing all over the place and I told him to cough into his elbow, please. Yeah, that's, and please. that's true. Yes. So you so cough knew. into your left shoulder mm -hmm. or your left shoulder or the crook of your arm. But look, so if you cough, cough, mm -hmm. and then Cross your arms. I dream of genie. You have to think about these things. Yeah. Or when you achoo into your right hand, you know, you don't want to do that. You want to sneeze and cover your mouth. But, you know, this is a big problem. Okay. These tissues. Because we blow. What we need to do is blow and throw. Blow we and throw. We don't blow. I like it. Put it on, our, on your desk. Oh, there's your Let it now. dry. Yeah. Use it again. Oh, people do it. Yeah, that's Or they gross. pull it out of their pocket. Oh, why? Well, hankies are bad. I just want okay. to know. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hankies are a bad thing. So here are hankies. They're dirty. Okay, after you use them, they're dirty. Where did and you get this, that? And don't, don't use this. When you're at the office, don't use this. <laughs> when we're at home, we can stick it up our nose. But it makes our nose all red. That's yeah. just an aesthetic. That thing. is true. But, that is but true. look, so when you sneeze, if you're using your hand, mm -hmm. you're spreading germs all over. Right. So the CDC says that washing hands saves lives. Okay. But we don't wash our hands right. No. We need to wash our hands to the tune of happy birthday. We've heard that a million times. But guess what? Well, we need long. to also wash our fingertips. We don't wash our fingertips under our nails and on the back of our hands because what do we do? Yes, we do do that. I got my nails, you know, you were talking about my little nails. Yes, okay? and we only touched hands 10 times. <laughs> 10 times. She said, oh, so you painted thank your goodness, nails. goodness, none of us are sick. Well, I did, and guess what my manicurist was doing? Oh, gross, I hate that. And then touching my hands. Aye. Okay, so we need to wash, wash, yes. wash, for sure. Rub Number one, stay home if you're sick. Stay home. Okay. Don't go to work. Number two, don't put off seeing the doctor. Yes. Like, what's that? You gotta wait. I'm like, oh, I'll just wait no. until tomorrow. See go how I feel. get, and I've never taken Tamiflu, but go get something mm -hmm. early. Okay. You get sicker. Okay. Wash your hands, wash, wash. Ooh, also, forego the hugs. No hugging? Yeah. You know, there are some schools that are doing show, uh, elbow I, we bumps. We did a story about that. Instead yes. of high fives, we're doing and, high yes. elbows. And, and you know, yeah. if you're in business, though, you know, the question is, do we forego a handshake? And in business, you really can't. You, you know, can't. you so can't. I'm going to chance the flu, and I'm going to carry around some now, bacterial majiggers. That's exactly what, and it okay. ha this bacterial majigger that you call it, <laughs> needs to be 60% alcohol. Okay. So, you know, look how cute this is. Except Except, I don't know, you know, it could just be water and flowers in here. So right. you need to make sure that it's going to help. What about, you know, I love, I live with coral, these yeah. cleaning wipes. I'm always using those. Are make, those effective? Yes, because okay. the germ can last on a surface for up to eight hours. So clean your keyboards, clean the faucets, clean everything that you touch. Okay. And if you're sick, if you're sick, make sure you take precautions. First of all, if you get sick and somebody gives you a care package, don't just bring this plastic water bottle. <laughs> bring something that's cozy. I love Give it. Give them tea. Bring them vitamin C. You know, these are all things that you can put in a care package. And, you know, I brought this soup. Mm -hmm. and unf Oh, and I love mints. So, you know, mints or cough drops, give them chicken soup. That's chicken tortilla. It will make you sick. That's just a little, that's a little <laughs> accident. I love it. That's okay. <laughs> Take care of your friends that are sick so they stay home. Give that's them for plants. Sure. Don't give them flowers. Plants clean the air. I love it. Achoo. Diane, this is good news. Now, now, I hope you are all listening so that when you're sick, you follow Diane's rules. Diane, of course, is our etiquette expert with the Protocol School of Texas at PSOTX.com. You can also find her on her website, DianeGottsman.com, or give her a call at 210-826-7400 for more information. Again, 826-7400.